Hello everyone, welcome back to online class. I am Akka Mahadevi from Upper Public School. So today I am here with the same chapter that is body movements. So in the previous class, we have discussed about human skeleton system, isn't it? Human skeleton system. So here, what do you mean by skeleton system? All the bones in our body form a framework to give shape and support to our body, isn't it? This framework is called skeleton, isn't it? So here, all the bones in our body form a framework to give shape and support to our body and this framework is called skeleton okay so once again i'll repeat all the bones in our body form a framework to give shape and support to our body and this framework is called skeleton okay so even we have discussed about what the skeleton system consists of, isn't it? Skeleton system consists of, so what the skeleton system consists of? It consists of ribcage, backbone, shoulder bone, pelvic bone and skull, isn't it? So even we have discussed about ribcage, backbone, shoulder bone, pelvic bone and skin, skull. So what is this ribcage? So as we all know that there are 12 pairs of ribs, isn't it? So the ribs joins from the chest bone, that is from front side to the backbone to the back side, isn't it? So the ribs join from the chest bone to the backbone and they form a cage-like structure for which we call rib cage, isn't it? So what is the function of this rib cage? Rib cage protects our internal organs, some important internal organs, which are those? Heart and Lungs. So, these important organs are protected by this rib cage, isn't it? Okay, so even we have learnt about backbone. So, this backbone joins from the neck to the hip, isn't it? So, the backbone joins from the neck to the hip and it consists of many bones called vertebrae. What do we call? Vertebrae. And how many vertebrae are there? 33. Okay. So it consists of 33 vertebrae. And where this backbone is joined? So this backbone is joined to shoulder bone, isn't it? It is joined to shoulder bone, rib cage, and even to the hip bone, isn't it? So this backbone is joined to those. Parts. And next is shoulder bone. So, as we all know that we have two shoulders, one is right to our neck and one is left to our neck, isn't it? So, the shoulder bones are also attached to the backbone. So, this shoulder bone is attached to the backbone. And what about this pelvic bone? This is the bone where we sit 
all, isn't it? So where is this present? It is just below the stomach. Okay. And next is skull. So skull have many small bones and it encloses the protect and it encloses and protects one important internal part that is brain, isn't it? So inside the skull, brain will be there. So here the skull will protect the brain. Okay. So next, what we have learned again? Yes. Let me write here. We have even discussed about the gait of animals. Okay. So here, gait means a particular way of moving. Isn't it? So gait means a particular way of moving. So now here, whether all different animals, they have the same way of moving. For example, how the, uh, like cow, buffalo, snake, fish, whether all will move in the same manner. No, because they will move according to their, like their body parts, how it is convenient for them, it will move. So here, what we are going to discuss is how different animals will move, isn't it? So even we have discussed about earthworm, isn't it? So here the earthworm has many rings, isn't it? They have many rings which are attached one end to end, isn't it? They don't have the bones. The earthworm, they don't have the bones, but they move with the help of muscles. Isn't it? So the earthworms will move with the help of muscles. And even I have said like about bristles. So what do you mean by this? Bristles. Okay. So bristles are hair-like structure. Okay, so these bristles are connected to the muscles of the earthworms, which makes a good grip on the ground to move, isn't it? So here the bristles are connected to the muscles, so they make a good grip to move on the ground, okay? So this is about earthworm and even at last I said a word that earthworm are the friends, like they are the friends of Formers, isn't it? Okay, so today we will discuss about snake. So you all have seen snake. So snake is a very slow-moving animal. Have you seen snail? How they will move? They will move very slow. And you know, it carries shell on its back. Isn't it? The snail, the snail carries shell on its back. Isn't it? So here snail is a very slow moving animal and it carries shell on its back which it is the outer skeleton of the snake. So here the shell is the outer skeleton of the snake but they are not made of bones. They are not made of bones, isn't it? So it is the outer skeleton. Shell is the outer skeleton of the snail, but they don't have the bones. And now here, shell have 
only one food, isn't it? So let me write here. Shell has only one food, isn't it? And this food of the snail is the food of the snail is flat, large, and this shape, which are made up of, which are made of strong muscles, isn't it? So here, shell has only one foot. Have you observed? You have seen the legs for this snail? No, the snails. Snail has only one foot and this foot of snail is flat, large and disc shaped, isn't it? So even the, the shape, the foot of the snail have strong muscles, they are made of strong muscles, isn't it? So snail move, how the snails will move? Snails move with the help of food, okay? So the snail will move with the help of food. This is about snail, okay? So next we will discuss about cockroach, okay? So, all you have seen cockroach in your kitchen room, isn't it? Not always, but sometimes, because all, uh, all, most of the time the cockroaches we see in the kitchen room only, isn't it? So, have you observed how the cockroaches will move? I'll tell you. Cockroaches will walk, isn't it? They will climb and even they will fly in the air, isn't it? So the cockroaches will walk, they will climb and even they will fly in the air. Cockroaches has Three pairs of legs. Have you observed? The cockroaches have three pairs of legs which help them in walking. Which help them in walking, isn't it? So these three pairs of legs help them in Walking and even the body of the cockroach is made up of hard outer material, isn't it? So it is it also covered with a hard material, outer skeleton. And this outer skeleton is made up of many plates joined together to permit movement, isn't it? So those plates which give permit of movement, like the cockroaches. Cockroaches, what they get, they get permit to move because of the plates which are present on the back of the cockroach, isn't it? Okay. And even cockroaches has two pair of wings. Isn't it? They have the two pair of wings which are attached to the body just below the head. 
which are attached to the body just below the head isn't it and even the cockroaches have distinct muscles okay so the cockroaches have distinct muscles where over the legs which help them to walk and which are over the wings they help to fly isn't it so this is all about cockroach so next we will move forward and we will discuss about birds okay so as we all know birds we have seen birds isn't it so here also same birds few times like sometimes what happens the birds will move on the ground birds will fly obviously and even sometimes like few birds swan and duck they will swim in water isn't it so few birds will fly few birds sometimes will walk on the ground and even few birds like swan and duck will swim in water isn't it the shape of the bird like the body shape of the bird is like that from which they can fly easily and the bones of the birds are hollow and light isn't it the bones of the birds are hollow and light and here uh, hind limbs which are used to which are used in walking and pursing isn't it so hind limbs are used in walking and pursing and fore limbs are used to modify the wings okay so this is all about birds and next we will move forward and we will discuss about fish okay so fish have a streamlined body so the fish has a streamlined body so what do you mean by the streamlined so just it is a rough diagram of fish so here you can see the front uh, like the head and the tail of the fish will be smaller than the middle part isn't it the head and the tail of the fish will be smaller than the middle part so here this shape allows them to move isn't it so what happens the shape is such that water can flow around and this fish can move easily in the water isn't it and even fish also have other fins which help them to balance the body isn't it so even the fins helps to balance the body and even it helps to keep directions while swimming okay so this is all about fish and now we will move forward and discuss the last animal that is snake so how the snake will be and how the body like bones will be the uh, will be of snake however the snake will be very long isn't it so they have a long backbone snake have a long backbone isn't it there are thin muscles isn't it so there are thin muscles on the back that are connected to one another isn't it so the thin muscles are connected to each others okay so here you can see so you can see a snake here the snake's body curves into many loops so you can see many loops it curves into many loops so just you see this figure 8.25 page number 75 okay so here the snake's body 
curves into many loops. Each loop of the snake gives it a forward push, isn't it? So even you see that the snake will move forward very fast, but it cannot move straight line, isn't it? Okay, this is all about the get of animals. So now we have completed this lesson and now we will discuss about the question answer exercise part we will discuss, okay? So just you go through this. Later on, I'll send you PDF from which you can copy the answers. So here we will discuss the exercise part. Okay. So the first question is fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Okay, so first one, joints of the bones, joints of the bones help in the dash of the body. Okay, so what is the right answer here? Joints of the bones help in the dash of the body. So the joints will help us to move our body, isn't it? Joints of the bones help in the movement of the body. Okay, so your joints helps to move the body. Next one is a combination. of bones and cartilages forms the dash of the body. So here a combination of bones and cartilages form the what it forms? It forms the skeleton. Okay? So, a combination of bones and cartilages forms the skeleton of the body. Okay? So, next. C. The bones at the elbow are joined by a dash joint. Okay, so here the bones at the elbow. So here, which type of joint is present here as we discussed in the previous class. So here, hinge joint is present from which we can move our hand in one direction, okay? So the here the bones at the elbow are joined by a hinge joint, okay? So next, D. So D one is the contraction of the the contraction of the dash pulls the bones during movement. Okay, so here the contraction of the dash pulls the bones during movement. So I said, what makes the bones to move? Exactly, muscles. So here the contraction of the muscles pulls the bones, isn't it? Pulls the bones during movement. So 
Next question is, let me have finished filling the blanks. So the next question is true or false? Right? True or false? Okay, so here the first question is the movement and Moment and locomotion of all animals of all animals is exactly the same. Okay, so here what is the question? The movement and locomotion of all animals is exactly the exactly the same. So whether the movement of all the animals are same as we discussed? No, because some animal, animals will swim, some animals will fly, some will slither, some will walk, isn't it? So here, whether the statement is true or false. So the movement and locomotion of all animals is exactly the same. No, it is not same. So, the statement is false. Isn't it? So, the movement and locomotion of all animals is exact. Animals is exactly not same. They are different. So, the next question is the cartilages are harder than bones. Okay, so here the statement is the cartilages are harder than bones. So as we discussed like what are the cartilages? Cartilages are not as hard as bone and can be easily bent, isn't it? So here the statement in the statement what they are given? The cartilages are harder than bones. So this statement is again false. Because the cartilages are not as hard as bone, isn't it? So the statement is false. The cartilages are harder than bone. So this is false. The next question is the finger bones do not have joints. So as we all know, our fingers, isn't it? So these are the fingers and we find the bones, isn't it? So without the joints, we can fold, like we can bend our fingers? No. So but the statement what they have given, the finger bones do not have joints. The finger bones, they have the joints. So that this statement is also false. So without joints, how can we bend our fingers, isn't it? So here are also the small joints. So the finger bones do not have joints is a false statement. So next D. The forearm has two bones. Okay. So forearm is here. Like they have the two bones, isn't it? So the forearm has two bones is a correct statement. So it is true, isn't it? The forearm has two bones. That is correct statement. So next question is cockroaches have an outer skeleton. So, whether the statement is true or false, just now we are discussing like the cockroaches have an outer skeleton, isn't it? Which is very hard. So, this statement is true. The cockroaches have an outer skeleton. Okay, so once again I will repeat. 
the movement and locomotion of all animals is exactly the same it is wrong statement so that we have written here false next question the cartilages are harder than the bones it is also a wrong statement because the cartilages are not as hard as bones isn't it next question the finger bones do not have joints so this is also a false statement because we have joints okay so the next question is the forearm has two bones this is correct statement because our forearm four arm has two bones and the next question is cockroaches have an outer skeleton yes cockroaches have an hard outer skeleton so this statement is true so next we will move forward and we will discuss about the math the following okay so the next question is match the following Maths the following. So the first question is upper jaw. So even there are more than one option. Also, you can join, isn't it? It is not like for one question only one answer you can match. More than one also you can match. Just you see your textbook and try to match. So here directly I write the answers in front of this question. Okay. So here upper jaw. Upper jaw is an immovable joint okay so here upper jaw is an immovable joint so next is fish so here fish have fins on the body so here the fish have fins on the body and even one more is there that is have a streamlined body okay so here more than one option we have written isn't it so for this fish have fins on the body is also a correct match and even have a streamlined body is also correct so you can match both of them so next is ribs okay so match this ribs to protect the heart isn't it the ribs will protect the heart and next question is snail so here also there are two statements like snail has a snail has an outer skeleton isn't it the snail has an outer skeleton and one more is shows very slow movement isn't it so here snail has an outer skeleton isn't it it has an outer skeleton and even one more is that snail shows very slow movement okay so the next one is cockroach so here also two statements one is cockroach has an outer skeleton like snail isn't it so it has also a outer skeleton like snail and one more is can fly in the air isn't it so the cockroaches can fly in the air so once again i'll repeat upper jaw the correct answer is is an immovable joint fish have fins on the body and even have a streamlined body ribs protect the heart snail has an outer skeleton and even shows very slow movement and cockroach has an outer skeleton and even can fly in the air okay so next we'll move forward and we will discuss answer these questions okay answer these so here directly i write the answer okay so what is the question 
what is a ball and socket joint isn't it so the answer for that question is the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of other bone okay so here the rounded end of one bone is fits into the cavity of other bone you can see this picture in your textbook okay so just open your textbook page number 68 so here you can see ball and socket joint which we can prepare isn't it so here is a ball and these are arm and this is the shoulder bone isn't it so here this ball has joined to the shoulder bone okay so here the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of other bone such a joint is called ball and socket joint ball and socket joint isn't it and ball and socket joint ball and socket joint allow they allow movements movements in all the directions so it allow movements in all the direction okay so the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of other bone such a joint is called ball and socket joint ball and socket joint allow movements in all directions okay so this is first answer so next we will move forward and we will write second one so what is the question so the question is which of the skull bones are movable so which is the movable in our skull as i said like one is fixed joint one is movable joint so the question what they have asked me here is which of the skull bone are movable so lower jaw bone is the only skull bone is the only skull bone which is movable is it right? so we can move our lower jaw because lower jaw bone is the only skull bone which is movable the upper jaw has a fixed joint is it right? so the movable joint is lower jaw okay and the third question is why can our elbow not move backwards isn't it so as i said that like the hinges which are present in the door which allows the movement in only one direction isn't it so here they have asked the question like why can our elbow not move backwards let me let me write answer elbow cannot move backward because it has a hinge joint it has a hinge joint which allows movement in one direction okay so here because of the hinge joint we are not able to move our elbow in backward direction because the hinge allow uh, allows the movement in only one direction okay it allows only in one direction not in the backward direction isn't it so we have discussed the exercise part of this chapter that is body movements i hope you all enjoyed this class isn't it
Thank you.